Hi everyone, this is Wii Master DS here, and I'm going to show you how to back up your PSP UMD games as a file on your PSP so you do not need to run it using the UMD disk. Now before we start, I must say that you do need to own the UMD disk before you can do this, otherwise it's illegal to do so. Now, you do need to have custom firmware M33, any version should do, on your PSP. I've got 3.9 M332, so I can do this, but you do need an M33 firmware. Now what you need to do is you need to come out of here, you need to press select, and if you've got M33 firmware you'll be able to see this menu here. It's the M33 VSH menu. So it's very difficult to see. I'll just make it just make it out a bit. But anyway, just there. The, one, the boxes, boxes that are highlighted now say USB device and memory stick. And what you need to do is we need to press right until it says UMD disk. You can just see the UMD disk there. When you've done that, go to X and press X. And then you need to insert the UMD disk you wish to copy. In my case, it's hot pixel. So you just take it out. There's the UMD disk. Just insert it into your PSP. Let it load. And there it is. And that's the game Hot Pixel UMD. And now what you need to do is you need to plug in the USB cable into your PSP. Like that. And then you need to put your PSP into USB mode. So just go to left, go down, press X on USB connection, put your PSP into USB mode. Now once in your PSP is in USB mode, this window should appear here and it will show you an ISO image file which is going to be called UMD and a four digit number afterwards and that's the actual image of the UMD you've inserted so it's read at the UMD instead of the USB stick. Now what you need to do is you need to copy this to your hard drive and I've already done this so and this is the image you'll get. I don't need to do it again because I've already copied it as you see. And what you need to do is you need to go to the link I've provided in my video description. It will take you to umdgen.ps3news.com slash utilities.html. Then what you need to do is scroll down and click on the PSP UMD Gen version 4 link. And then you need to open the WinRAR archive or save to disk, whichever you prefer. You do need WinRAR to open it though, as usual. I've already downloaded it. And then what you get in the archive is these two files here. You have the UMD generator and the UMD gen help file. Now what this UMD generator file does is it will compress your file, you'll compress your UMD ISO so it will fit easier on your PSP. It doesn't always work because if the PSP UMD is already small as it is then it won't do too much difference. So double click on that and then this will program will appear. Then what you need to do is go to the place where your UMD ISO which you copied over is located and then just drag and drop that into the program and then it should show you the UMD that you're trying to copy which in my case is hot pixel what you need to do is you need to go to file save as and compressed CSO and then you can put it wherever you want to I'll just put it in the same folder that I saved the UMD ISO to and then call it whatever you want, I'll just call it hot pixel and then just click continue and it will now generate the ISO right, depending on the um, size of the ISO this may take some time so I will pause the video now ok it's nearly done now it's now actually compressing the image because before what it was doing it was reading the files and now it's actually creating the image and this will take as long as well so I'll pause the video here ok the compressing image is nearly finished now ok it's done that now so now what you can do is you can close this program because you do not need it anymore and you can locate 
where you saved the um, CSO image. And there it is. That was the original file that I copied off the PSP, UMD, and this is the file we just created, the CSO file, and as you can see it is slightly smaller, not a great deal smaller, but that's because it was quite small to begin with. This was 333 megabyte, and now this one is 272 megabyte. And this is ready now to copy onto your memory stick, and this is how you're going to do it. But now you first need to tell your PSP to read from the memory stick instead of the UMD disk, so I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, so what you need to do now is press circle to come out of USB mode, and you need to press select again to go back to the M33 VSH menu. And just go down to USB device again and press right until it says memory stick. Start to see that there. And then go to exit and go back to USB connection and press X again to put your PSP back into USB mode. And that's back in USB mode. Okay, once your PSP is back into USB mode, your um, memory stick loc um, content should appear here. Then what you need to do is you need to go into the ISO folder. If, it, if you haven't already got one, then just make one. Then what you need to do is copy over the CSO file that you just created into that folder. It will now copy it into that folder for you. Your PSP will be able to read it now. Now once again, depending on the size of the CSO image, it may take some time, so I will pause the video now. Ok, the CSO image is nearly copied now. Ok, and there it is now. And now your PSP can read it and play it. So I'll show you now how to play this file without the UMD. Ok, now you can press circle to come out of USB mode, again, and then just to prove it works, I'll just take the USB cable out quickly, and I'll take the UMD out, there it is, just so it's not in there, empty drive, now before you actually run it you need to go back to the VSH menu, and where it says UMD ISO mode, which is very difficult to see on here, you just about to see it, it says UMD ISO mode normal. You need to highlight that and press right to change it to the M33 driver. Just about to see that. Go to exit. And then you just go over to the game. Go to memory stick. And then there it is. That's the game I just copied over, Hot Pixel. Just press X to run it. And it will run as if you had the UMD inside. It will actually run fast because it's not running off the disk, it's running off the memory stick. There we go. It runs. It runs perfectly. And that's the end of the video. So if you have any comments or questions, I'll try to answer them. And thank you for watching my video.